Advanced reactors, they're not your parents' nuclear reactors. Hi, I'm Mike Goff with the U.S. Department of Energy. Here are three things you need to know about advanced nuclear reactors. One, they come in a variety of sizes. You still have the large gigawatt plants like you have operating today, but you also have small modular reactors that are less than 300 megawatts that are perfect for replacing retiring coal plants and that can take advantage of the existing infrastructure there and the trained workforce. And you also have micro reactors that are less than 10 megawatts it can be replaced at remote communities or it can be used for microgrids to provide resilient power. Two, they have different coolants that's used to produce power. I mean, you still have systems that have water like the existing plants that operate very cleanly and efficiently, but you also have designs that can use high temperature gases, molten salts, or liquid metals. Those advanced systems can get higher efficiencies. They can also provide process heat for industrial decarbonization that requires high temperature processes. Some of those systems also can then operate so that they can reuse their spent fuel and provide a more sustainable fuel cycle as well. Three, these advanced designs were designed with a goal to reduce construction times and to reduce cost. They're designed to be more factory fabricated, more modular type construction. Basically, we're trying to change from where we're more building airplanes as opposed to building airports. 